sink. It's for Ben. Well, it's bigger than ears. Everything's bigger than ears. Oh, when did you get that? The other day. Well, you can never have enough cuddly toys, can you? I'm popping over now. Do you want me to take yours? It's a bit early, I think they'll still be in bed. Don't be daft. They've got a newborn baby. They'll have forgotten what bed is. I should think they'd be only too pleased to see me. And as for Flopsy... I know you didn't want any eggs, no, it's lovely, but... Peggy. Really thoughtful. Just a little young for it yet. We'll put it away for later. Thanks, Mum. It's a pleasure. Do you think it's a bit stuffy in here? Don't you think you ought to open some windows and let Ben have some fresh air? Ma and Mum used to swear by it. Yeah, well, she used to swear by a lot of things, didn't she? <laughs> You're right there. That was in the good old days when smoking was good for you and hard work never killed anyone. Oh, well. You know best. There you go, y'all. I'm telling you, Phil, she's driving me mad. I know, but she's only trying to do her bit for Ben, isn't she? Anyway, shouldn't she be over the big? <sighs> Kathy, love. Do you need a hand? No, I'm fine. He's probably just after some more breakfast. Is he due for a feed? Peggy, he's hungry. If you're feeding on demand, then of course he's going to cry. I have done this before. Of course you have. But well, that was a long time ago. And you know what they say about middle-aged mothers? The thing is, you've got to let them know who's boss. Yeah, well, he'll find that soon enough, won't he? Excuse me. She's tired. Of course she's tired, running around after the baby like that. She's making a rod for her own back. Mum, Ben's only two weeks, so we're just finding her feet. What she needs is a break from the baby every now and then. Yeah, well, maybe in a month or so. Look, I'll babysit. You've got no worries there. Right. Thanks. I suppose I'd better go and help his lordship out. With the market being open, we might pick up some extra trade. Well, the market's open. Yeah. Now, don't forget what I said. I'm only a phone call away. You argue we were both out of order. Still for you. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Nothing that matters. Just wondered if you fancy a bit of overtime. What, in the calf? Yeah, the market's open, so there could be plenty of custom. You gonna be all right, Billy? You'd have to keep an eye on him. You hang on a minute, you can't just go waltzing off. Yes, I can. If you know what? Women, mate. They're not just the opposite sex, they're a different species. Yeah, I know what you mean. I hope you don't mind me just dropping in like this, only I'm after a bit of advice. Oh, it's a relief to see you. For a moment there, I thought you were the mother-in-law from hell. Peggy giving you grief, then? Oh, I know she means well, Pat, but I just want to be left alone to get on with it. You sit down, love. I'll put the kettle on. All right, bruv, what are you having? Oh, I just made it cold and strong, yeah? Did you have a word with Kathy about babysitting? No, I haven't told you. You know, Phil, having a new baby doesn't mean you can't get on with your life. I'll be upstairs if you want me. If only it was that easy, eh? Oh, you know what Peggy's like. <laughs> She's just got this way of taking over. Tell me about it. She's got all these ideas about what's right and wrong. I know I've taken a risk having been so late in life. But I don't need Peggy to point it out. Well, just ignore her. I just want things to be right for Ben. I want him to have the best possible start in life. Is that so wrong? Well, of course not. Yeah, well, me and Peggy seem to have totally different ideas about what's best. Look, Kath, when you've made up your mind about the important things in life, you, you want to stick to your guns. Never mind what Peggy Mitchell thinks. Ben's your child. Yeah, I know. Oh, Pat, I'm sorry. It's me blabbering on. It was you who wanted advice. What's up? It's Janine. I thought she'd be really keen to come home by now, but when I spoke to her earlier, she didn't even mention it. Well, did you discuss it with her? Well, perhaps you need to set a definite date. No offence, Pat, but I don't care as I don't know if she's coming or going for the last few months. 